Hello, and welcome to our behavioral statistics course. This is Dr. Kelly, and I'll take you with, through a little tour of our course here. So I think an important spot to start off with is the ask a question. And anytime that you have a question uh, during this course, just come here to this discussion board, ask a question. And as the course continues, you'll see questions develop here. And anytime uh, that you see a post with a subject line that has a similar question to you, click on it and just check out what the response to it was. Here are the guidelines for ask a question. When you start a question, you'll be creating a new thread. You'll place a brief summary of your question in the subject line. And then you'll describe your full question in the message area. When you do that, I get an immediate email letting me know that a question has been posted here, and I'll go ahead and respond. <clears throat> what I do as the instructor is I click on the subscribe option so that I can subscribe to this forum. And if you are interested in doing so likewise, you can also click on the subscribe. That means anytime a student posts a question, you'll see it too. Okay, the learning units. This is where we go to actually do uh, the, the essence of our course, the learning of it, the application of it, and turning in the assignments. So there's the welcome and orientation, which you found to be able to start this video. Uh, and then we have unit number one, which is what we're working on right now. And this unit will be due this Friday at 11.55 uh, p.m. In our learning unit, I start us off with an announcement. So go ahead uh, later on and read through it. And then importantly, we have our critical thinking questions. And the critical thinking questions are those questions that you're going to be responsible for answering at the end of the learning unit. And there's typically three main, three, uh, three main critical thinking questions uh, in each learning unit. So this learning unit, the critical thinking questions are, why can we describe an entire population of several billion people? based on just a sample of 3,000 or fewer individuals? And when would uh, you use an experiment rather than a correlational study? And our third one is, imagine that we wish to run an experiment to evaluate whether consuming warm food makes us feel friendlier towards others. That is, when someone's taking you out to eat, uh, does the fact that you're having a warm drink and warm food, does that make you feel a little bit more friendlier to whatever they might propose if they're asking you for help or just hanging out with you? What would be your independent variable and your dependent variable? How would you operationalize your independent variable? How would you operationalize your dependent variable? Note, I don't expect you to have these answers right now. This is after you've completed the reading. This is giving you a heads up then of what to look out for. So then you have the actual reading. And if you don't have your behavioral statistics workbook, you can click on this link right here. And it'll open up uh, the ebook version of the workbook. So you can make use of that. And here is the uh, assignment, pages 5 to 35. And here are the main topics that we'll be covering. OK, specifically for the online students. But if you're an on-site student and you happen to miss a class meeting, this can be helpful for you. We have uh, recorded class lessons. And if you click on it, you can see that you have an option, uh, two of them. Typically, there's two lessons in each week. And to go ahead and start it up, you can just click on the play button. And then click the play. And it'll start up if you have Flash installed. On this computer, when I'm clicking the play, it's not going to play because I don't happen to have that installed. So what I need to do is I need to click on this link, View Video at Screencast. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So here's the video at the Screencast. Now I can click play on it. There's the video playing. I'm going to pause it. Notice that it's closed captioned. And you can actually jump to different points in the presentation. So if you have a particular question, you can simply jump to it. You can also look for appearances of, of a given word. Sorry about that. So let's see if I want to look for the word experiment. These are all the points in this recorded lesson where the word experiment was used. And I can click on it and jump to that exact point. So if there is a particular term that you're unfamiliar with but you know is covered in the lecture, this is a nice way to jump to it. Okay, <clears throat> so those are the um, recorded lessons. 
and I recommend uh, that you make use of them if there's something that you find uh, challenging and want to uh, review. Then we have the self-evaluation and the quiz, and they go hand in hand. That is, before you take the quiz, you definitely want to do the self-evaluation. They both pull from the same pool of questions. And so at least do a self-evaluation once. Uh, when you're ready to do the quiz, go ahead and uh, click on where it says uh, quiz for unit one. Uh, you have 10 minutes to do it. Uh, you can click on the begin button over here to get started. It'll ask you for the password. Now, the password's here just so that you don't accidentally start it. But it's very simple. If you're taking quiz one, you push the number one. That is your password. And then I'll go ahead and get you started. When you're done with the uh, quiz, you'll go ahead and click on the Save and Submit button, and there's one at the bottom and also at the top. All right, so after you've taken the quiz, then the wrap-up is with the journal. So you'll click right here, Step 5, Critical Thinking and Reflection. And then uh, click on uh, the first uh, item you see here called uh, Learning Unit Behavioral Statistics and Research Methods, posted by Anonymous. By the way, that'll always be me. And when you click on it, it'll have the directions for the Learning Unit, uh, particular journal activity. And so this is like our critical thinking journal. So it says, first, when you think of the term statistics, what comes to mind? So go ahead and share it with us. And then you'll see our three critical thinking questions. So here they are. So hopefully in doing the reading, uh, you've had a chance to think about it and you have a good response. And then finally, share your experience with this first learning unit, approximately one paragraph. How long do you study? Where did you study? What was easy? What was hard? And when doing your journal entry, uh, when you're done with it, just go ahead and click on the done button. All right, so now you have an idea of the basics for a learning unit. Uh, I'd also like you just to be aware of some of the other options here on our, our menu, here to the left. So that's the question we've talked about. That's whenever you have a question to go there. Learning units, that's where you do the work. My info. My info is where you can go to see your grades. Uh, and it also reminds you to make sure that you have a current email uh, in your SURF account. One thing to be aware of is that um, if you don't turn something in, Blackboard ignores it when calculating your grade, but I can let you know as the instructor, I do not. Uh, so you want to base your grade upon the total points possible, which is listed in the syllabus. Course support. This is a good place to go anytime you have uh, some questions about uh, the course uh, in terms of, of resources that are available in addition to our Ask a Question. In the course support, uh, you can get the Adobe Acrobat Reader, which uh, we'll be using a lot uh, throughout the semester. You can get the course syllabi, which had the exam dates included them uh, at this point. Uh, here are the links to the workbook, Part A and Part B. If you have uh, questions that are beyond just you know the, the quick five-minute question and you really need more significant help, uh, there's lots of things you can do. You can come by my office hours, and I'll let you know I like it when people come by my office hours. It'd be great to see you. You can go to the facilitated uh, learning sessions. That'll start the fourth week of the semester as we're approaching uh, the first exam. At some point, there'll be an e-tutoring option, but it's not here yet. And finally, you can make an appointment uh, with the tutor on campus. So those are ways to get help with the course uh, where it's beyond just asking a simple question. You're going to be using SPSS uh, a lot throughout the whole semester. You're going to need to have it. Uh, there's one way to get it that's free, and that is to download the VMware. Uh, and so definitely recommend that you follow these directions. And then Academic Proctoring Center for the online students. You're going to be taking your exams there. So I have some information here located for you. If you need assistance uh, with the course that's uh, technology-based, you can come here for a computer technical assistance. And finally, statistical tables are located at the very bottom of our uh, support, uh, our course uh, support section. Finally, just the announcements, and you'll see the announcements whenever you come into the course. All right, I wish you a most wonderful semester. I am here to see you succeed. I am so excited that we're off at the beginning of a new semester, uh, and I wish you all the very best. And if you have any questions, again, don't hesitate. Ask. I'm glad uh, to be here and to be teaching this uh, course material to you. Take care.